step two of the anti-slice system. Now, again, this is vital to you. Now, what we're talking about here is the grip and the grip position that will make it easier for you to close the club face to create more of the draw shape that you're after as opposed to the slice motion. So let me explain what we mean by this. So what most players will tend to do is they'll have a grip which is called a bit of a weak grip. Now, what I mean by that is this. If you put your thumb and forefinger together for your grip, you'll see a line is created here. So you see this line here, and also you will have another line on your right hand. So when I put both hands on the grip, you'll see I've got two lines that can point either at my chin or to my shoulder or even below my shoulder, okay? Now, if you have a grip which is too much in your palm, so it's too much in your palm here, right? What will happen is that your line will point straight at your chin. So if, if your grip is now pointing, which you can see here, and it's pointing straight at my chin, I'm going to find it very difficult to release the club face. So that's going to leave the face more open through the impact area. Now, if I want to, to set up with a grip which will help me close the club face, I want to create a grip which is a bit more this way. Now my Vs that you can see are now pointing more at my shoulder or even below my shoulder. So we want to have a grip which allows you to see more of your knuckles and less of the knuckles of the right hand. So more on the left and less of the right. So we don't want to be here in the weak position. We want to be in a stronger position. Why this is so helpful if I now get into a grip which is stronger, when I, I can now find it very easy to rotate that club face closed. If I am in the weaker position, I'm finding it more difficult to close the face because I'm in a weak position. Stronger, easy to close the club face. So that is what I would highly recommend as a slicer from a grip perspective and from a setup perspective. Get stronger with the grip get your the back of the hand pointing at the target see at least i'd say three knuckles get it pointing at least to your right shoulder or even slightly below that's now going to help you to release the club as we progress through helping you to get rid of that slice